Section 8, stopping. We're going to deal with stopping. It, it might not uh, seem like a big issue in a driving test, but stopping's got to be smooth and progressive. As you approach an intersection, start braking early and down changing through the gears while you're consistently braking. Don't stab the brake, take the brake off and then put your clutch in, then put your brake on again when down through the next change. That shows poor driving skills. You must progressively uh, um, brake at the same time be down changing. Your left foot's not allowed to know what your right foot's doing. That's really important. That's in a manual car. Obviously, in an automatic, it's easy. You start to press the, the brake early and approach the intersection as smooth as you can. And when you're driving buses and trucks, you can do it so gracefully they don't even know you've stopped. Uh, second point that they've got written here, stops too far from the given mark. That's, that's critical. Uh, you're going to get done for that if you drive over your stop line at a stop sign or at a white, solid white line at a set of lights or whatever. You don't go past the stop line. That solid white line's there for a reason. So don't stop too far. Obviously, same thing when you park alongside a curb. Be within 30 centimetres or a foot of the curb. Don't go right onto it if you can. That doesn't matter if you're close, but uh, not right too far away either. That's very important. Stops too suddenly. Obviously, you, you don't want to um, have the assessor getting out of the car with his face covered in uh, band-aids and stuff. You've just got to stop nice and smoothly and progressively. Emergency stopping's not done anymore, except on motorbikes. Um, but obviously, you don't stop too suddenly. Uh, your seatbelts will hold you back nowadays. Back in the old days, you'd have two holes in the windscreen instead, but uh, that's different now. Um, there's a ride down effect and everything built into cars. Now the next section stops too slowly in quick stop test again. That's built, that particular um, one is written for motorcycles and that's very important. You've got to be able to stop fast enough. But of course ABS braking now has come, out, come into the stopping. Nowadays ABS braking is in most modern cars which is the automatic braking system which means the wheels aren't going to lock up. So you can stab that brake pedal as hard as you like and you'll smoothly stop even though it'll be a quick ride down effect, you'll smoothly stop. There won't be any skidding or sliding in the modern car. Um, a good driver doesn't like ABS brakes. They like to be under control themselves. And that way you can test which, which wheels and brakes need adjusting and things. That's fairly important. Obviously, stalling engine in stopping literally means you've, you've got it in gear and you forgot to put the clutch in when you stab the brakes too hard. So when you hit the brakes pretty hard and you need to stop pretty quickly, you've left it in gear. You've got to hold the clutch in as your brakes on as you suddenly stop. But of course, also it means chugging up to an intersection for getting to down change. You've got to down change through the gears. If you forget down change, the engine's going to chug and it's going to stall. So stopping is quite a bit involved with that itself as part of your normal driving. It's a very important part of your driving. And that's the section on stopping, section eight.